Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea, raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Church celebrates today the holiness of St. Clare, Virgin, one of the early followers of St. Francis of Assisi, a friend indeed. Let us ask for her intercession and prayer that we too may have friends who will bring us closer to Jesus. Friendship must always have that objective, to bring us closer to the Lord. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clare to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, as from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did the people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any good venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with his strong hand and outstretched arm, 
and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. All this you were allowed to see, that you might not know the Lord is God, and there's no other. Out of the heavens he let you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth he let you see his great fire, and you heard him speaking out of the fire. For love of your fathers, he chose their descendants and personally led you out of Egypt by his great power, driving out of your way nations greater and mightier than you, so as to bring you and to make you their land, your heritage, as it is today. This is why you must not know, or you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments, which I enjoin on you today, that you and your children, after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land, which the Lord, your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I remember your wonders of old. And I medita meditate on your works, your exploits, I ponder. I remember the deeds of the Lord. O God, your way is holy. What great God is there like our God? You are the God who works wonders. Among the peoples you have made known your power. I remember the deeds of the Lord. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. You led your people like a flock under the care of Moses and Aaron. I remember the deeds of the Lord. Please stand. <laughs> The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> 
please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. All of us here would like to be happy. No one here would like to have a miserable life. But the problem with many of us is that we pursue happiness, forgetting that happiness is a result. Happiness is a byproduct. I think that is the message of the gospel today. The Lord is reminding us that happiness is not given to the person who seeks it. Kung hinahanap mo ang kaligayahan, hindi ito mapapas sa iyo. But that it is rather a byproduct to a life of selfless service. Kung ang hahanapin mo ay kaligayahan, hindi mo ito matatagpuan. Kung ang gagawin mo ay paglilingkod sa ibang tao, ang resulta nito ay kaligayahan. Kung ang gagawin mo ay ang pagbibigay ng iyong panahon sa ibang tao, paglilingkod sa ibang tao, pagbabahagi ng kung ano ka, kung anong meron ka, ang result nito ay kaligayahan. You don't look for happiness. You do what will bring you happiness. Magkaiba po yun. Kaya, kayo tayo, kaya tayo hindi nagiging masaya ay sapagkat nakakalimutan natin uh, medyo corny, no? Pero the word joy, joy spells J-O-Y, can mean Jesus, others, you. Huli na yan yung you. Huli na yung akin. Una sa si Jesus, pangalawa ang kapwa, at huli ang sarili. Kapag pinagbalibaliktad natin yon, there will be no joy. Hindi yun joy. Pag inuna natin ang ating sarili, hindi yun joy. Pag inuna natin yung kapwa natin, hindi yun joy. Kung unahin natin ang Panginoon at isunod ang ating kapwa, that is joy. An author, John Powell, wrote a book. The title of the book is Happiness is an Inside Job. Intriguing title, Happiness is an Inside Job. And he wrote in that book, Happiness is the result of doing something else. Like the elusive butterfly, happiness cannot be directly pursued. All attempts to seek happiness directly are doomed. Wala. Pag hanginanap mo kaligayahan, hindi mo ito makakamtan. Almost everything else we can seek for and acquire. You want food? Look for food. You'll get food. You want shelter? Look for shelter. You'll get shelter. You want knowledge? Pursue knowledge and you will get it. But not happiness. Happiness is attained by doing something else. And in the spirit of the gospel, you lose more if you seek the wrong things. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Kung ang sarili mo lang ang iniisip mo, mas lalong mawawalan ng kahulugan ang buhay mo. But whoever loses his life for the sake of Christ and others, he will find it. Kapag hinanap mo ang Panginoon, matatagpuan mo ang kaligayahan. Pag hinanap mo ang iyong kapwa, 
matatagpuan mo ang kaligayahan. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of St. Clair of Assisi, whose image is displayed in front of us. As I said at the beginning of the Mass, she was a friend of Francis of Assisi. Like Francis, Claire gave up so many things. She gave up wealth. She gave, she gave up prestige. She gave up her nobility to pursue not happiness, but to pursue the Lord. And now, she is eternally happy in the presence of the Lord in heaven. Uulitin ko, lahat tayo gusto nating maging masaya. Pero sana hanapin natin ito sa Panginoon at sa ating kapwa. Sapagkat mas lalo natin minimithi ang kaligayahan nang wala ang Panginoon at wala ang kapwa, hindi tayo magiging maligaya. Let us ask the prayer of St. Clair that we too may find our real source of happiness. Amen. Please stand. By self-denial, we take up the cross each day, walking in the footsteps of our Master. Let us pray for others, and so cast off the selfishness which keeps us apart from God. To every pet petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Pope and bishops may carry the cross of pastoral care and responsibility with selfless sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those who accepted the burden of public office may grow in the love of God through their responsible, sincere, an honest exercise of their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> that those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Silently, let us pray for our own petitions and let us remember the people who are asking us to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive the prayers of a pilgrim people seeking to discover your will by walking in the footsteps of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer. 
which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the virgin blessed Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too, our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, including Claire, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Claire, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.